Hello everybody, you're listening to Alfred's American News Updates. Alfred's American News Updates is brought to you by Alfred and Friends. Alfred and Friends is a global conglomerate that owns and invests in a large variety of companies all around the world. To find out more about how you can invest in Alfred and Friends, go to www.alfredandfriends.com the updates I would like to give you now is on the National Council for the American Worker and President Trump's pledge to American workers. You know, recently, President Trump has actually pushed a large number of companies and I mean major corporations to make a pledge to hire more people and also train more people as well as retrain people. And to help with this goal, he has created a new council called the National Council for the American Worker. The Council is co-shared by Wilbur Ross as Secretary of Commerce, Alex Acosta as Secretary of Labor, and Ivanka Trump, who is currently the advisor to the president. The move has been successful because a lot of companies have signed up. Apple has signed up. Tim Cook is actually one of the members of the advisory board of the National Council of American Workers. Among others who are advisors to this board are clearly a lot of Democrats and people from different industries, people who are captains of different industries, the CEO and president of Walmart, the CEO and president of Home Depot, several governors, several union heads, like Sean McGavey, who is the president of North America's Building and Trade Unions. You see, with all these people coming together, Basically, it's like an outstretched arm to every, for everybody to come together to the table. And clearly, President Trump has given everybody a voice and given everybody an opportunity to bring their opinions and their improvements to the table, what they have to offer, you see, so that everybody can work together to create even more jobs. The number of jobs have to greatly increase. But this new move by President Trump is so significant because another thing you have to understand is that the current school system is built on you go to school, you learn, you get a degree or diploma and then with that you can get a job. But as mass knowledge of technology improves, certain things become outdated. The knowledge that you gain with your degree or diploma is outdated within a few years if it is not upgraded. So with these retraining programs, it will help people who have existing jobs to be able to keep their jobs and not be worried about what advancements will take place in the future and younger people coming to take their jobs away from them, you see. And also, if they start first level training, that also eliminates the need for those who do not have enough education or degrees or diplomas to go get that first. You see, because the job itself has the training program that teaches all that needs to be learned to excel in that specific job. You see, so these improvements and these advancements are really powerful and they will really help America become a really great economy, even greater than what it already is. 
you see it's also going to clearly open up a lot of new jobs and a lot of high paying jobs so you are going to perhaps see people having the options to leave their current job to get a high paying job you see so this is really really good and really really nice naturally the mainstream media is not going to talk about this but we do because we are interested in telling the truth and telling you like it is so that is it for this update remember to go to alfredandfriends.com to find out how you can invest in alfred and friends have a nice day